Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Bill and Emily, and there's my wife, Emily. And uh, we have another uh, health tip for you today. Uh, we just got done uh, working out. We did uh, back and buys today. And so uh, there, we had a little conversation uh, in the gym today with another uh, person. Um, I don't know if I should say she's the same age as us. I guess so, because she's not, not here. But actually, it was another baby boomer. And I like to bring uh, onto Facebook some of the conversations that we have in the gym or some of the conversations that I overhear so uh, you guys can see what goes on in the gym. So uh, the conversation this uh, just before we got done was about um, seniors or baby boomers that are uh, trying to get in shape. And one thing Emily and I try to um, explain to those of uh, the seniors who have never really worked out, um, they might not have. They might have done a little bit of walking, or they see something on TV, or they Google something how they need to uh, exercise more to get the lymphatic system to move, uh, to get the joints from hurting, stuff like that. But they've never really um, thought about actually strength training. Uh, to get in better shape because they feel it's too late. They're too old. Guys, that's not the case. Don't let anybody ever tell you you're too old to get in shape. Even if you're in your 90s or so, you still can do this. There's research out there where um, scientists have actually, and researchers have actually gone into a senior home and picked the most out of shape of the seniors in that group, some with some disabilities, and they actually put them on a strength and conditioning pro program along with, of course, their, uh, their food plat platform. Every single one of them, 100% of all of them, gained muscle mass. So don't think that because you're old, you're not going to get stronger or gain muscle mass. That is not true. Now, there is a protocol. You do have to be safe. Uh, you should be. Uh, you should have a trainer that is um, old enough to understand how important it is and how safety is. And so, some of the first things, just a suggestion or tips from Emily and I. If if you're older, you've never really worked out. Um, something you might want to do. And the first thing that we do uh, when we work with somebody is that we change the type of water. Now you guys have heard me talk about that before in the past. Well, that's very important because hydration is to me is number one, you know, because you've got to hydrate the body because, uh, exercising produces free radicals or inflammation and you got to be able to flush it out. So by hydrating yourself with hydrogen rich water, you're going to flush out inflammation. That way your joints are going to get uh, feel better and you're not going to get as sore or it, you will not get sore at all. The next step is you guys got to have a good um, uh, interval training program. The reason why we like interval training because it's good for all ages. Okay, so uh, you want to have a good, you have to strength train. You, you guys that are older, don't think by getting out there and walking is just gonna is gonna do it all. No, it's it's a it's a full puzzle here. So you got to be hydrating. You got to have a good workout program that fits you, and you and you've got to be safe. Now, don't think it's about the weight. It's not about the weight. It's all about the form. Okay, guys. And then the next step, which is a huge step, also, is what you eat. Okay, guys, so you've got to understand how important a plant-based diet is to put the good uh, probi probiotics and antioxidants and nutrients and enzymes back in your body. The processed foods, you're getting a lot of the, you know, Emily used to uh, do a massage at a senior home to an older gentleman, and um, they had a cafeteria in there. And what they were feeding these older people were basically killing them, poisoning them. They're very acidic to the body. No, uh, actually very, very little nutritional value and really nothing that's going to put any good probiotics back in their guts. And that's why they um, felt the way they did. Well, for, for M Emily and I, whatever life we have left, we're not going to be bent over. I'm not going to be in a wheelchair. And I'm not going to um, uh, have issues where I can enjoy the rest of my life. So that's why we're so passionate about what we're doing. So, guys... That's my. That's our topic for the day. That was a conversation we had in in the gym, and uh, like I said, you seniors out there that think you're too old to get started on a strength and conditioning, you're not. You can do this. 
You can even gain mu muscle mass. So you guys have a great day. I hope you saw some value in this. Uh, send this off to your friends who um, are baby boomers so they can also see the um, the facts. Okay, guys, have a great day. And Emily and I say goodbye. Say goodbye, Emily. Goodbye, Emily.